Following my last video regarding the two sides of the brain, the left and right hemisphere and the story of Cain and Abel, and how Cain is still trying to kill Abel, the left hand side of the brain is still trying to annihilate the right. Um, please have a look at that video if you haven't and uh, check out the research by Ian McGilchrist. It's very interesting. Um, my thoughts are these, just very quickly. There is no them and us, there is only us. So therefore we cannot blame the powers that should not be for doing things that they should not do. It's us. So let's just look at it as a sort of allegorical story. Take Cain and Abel. So there's Cain and there's Abel. There's the left hand side of the brain and there's the right. OK, so um, the powers that should not be. Let's look at that. People say it's the powers that be, but it's the powers that should not be. It's the overtaking of the right brain by the left brain. So we need to redress the balance. And, you know, it, you can you can tell yourself stories about, oh, the aliens are coming or this is happening or that's happening or seven planets are retrograde. And yes, all, OK, it all has an effect. Great. Wonderful. So now let's get down to business. There's no them and us. There is only us. And there's a sort of divide, isn't there, between people who have good intentions and people who do not and people who have the creative um energy within them to create good things, beautiful things, helpful things for humanity and those who just want to help themselves to humanity. But it's us. So until we do the work, until we do the inner work, until we see who we are and what we have done and take responsibility for the whole goddamn thing. What ascension? <laughs> Individual ascension? Really? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe the point of us being awake, awakened, and I stress awakened, not woke, um, maybe we can push the frontiers and we can lead and through perhaps the sympathetic resonance of the heart read my chapter eight, <laughs> perhaps through emitting this beautiful energy that we have, perhaps through that sympathetic resonance, the lower vibrations that um, are trying to dominate will be dominated. That's the only way that we're ever going to return to the garden. So, you know, I'm led to Joni Mitchell. Let's see if I can find her here. Yeah. And we've got to get ourselves back to the garden. That's what we have to do. It's just step by step, day by day, moment by moment, thought by thought and feeling by feeling that we do this. There is no them and us. There is only us. <laughs>